Hello and welcome to another episode of Race for the Future. In recent weeks, I've been receiving a number of emails and engaged in a number of conversations about Jewish-Black relations. And one of the more common questions is, Rabbi, where does the Black community get the idea that Jews own all the businesses? Where did the Black community get this idea that Jews are these land uh, owners and uh, uh, rent barons? Well, that is a complex question. Now, hate comes in many, many different forms. And certainly there are groups in uh, black leadership, Louis Farrakhan of a Nation of Islam is a perfect example, that uses these uh, very ancient tropes against the Jewish people for his own power. The Black Lives Matter movement has leadership as well, which is very, very difficult to engage with as they continue to use these arguments. But it is important to understand that not all Black leadership and not all of the Black community has uh, these deep-rooted hatreds against the Jewish people. And within this community, it's important to take a look at recent history. Let's just take Houston recent history as an example. If you think about the Jewish community that uh, our parents and, and grandparents grew up in here in the city of Houston, you know that those areas today are primarily black. At a certain time, there was a white flight from those areas and they, we all moved to Meyerland and the Bel Air area and other parts of the city. Now, much of the time, while we moved to Meyerland, we continued to own property, often apartments or often uh, homes that we would then rent out to the black community. Businesses, we own businesses, are, they were still there. And so that generation, our parents and grandparents' generation growing up in the third ward or growing up in the fifth ward, in other wards, I'm, I'm not super accurate with my Houston Jewish history, but it doesn't matter if it's Houston or Detroit or Chicago, white flight took place and in the place of the Jewish communities, often there would be black communities that uh, arose. And who did they pay their rent to? And who did they go to the store? It was very often the Jewish community. So these ingrained ideas that the Jews own property or the Jews own many of the businesses feed into these very, very old stereotypes against Jews, but it also matches up with realities that the black community may have been living. This is an important thing for us to understand because in the context of these communities, it just takes a little bit of time to re-educate. And that time demands engagement. It demands taking uh, the uh, opportunities to develop relationships. And that is something that we will, as a congregation, pursue in the months and years to come. Because this is a kind of anti-Semitism that is quite easily overcome through the development of such relationships and dialogue. I hope that we can begin to distinguish between anti-Semitism that's used for political power and gain, and anti-Semitism that has been a uh, part of a misunderstanding of a community. Because if we can do so, we can work together to build a race for the future.